So at 8 o'clock in the morning, <clears throat> the sun is not in my favor. I look icky because I haven't showered and I am on my way to my P.O. box and then I am going to stop at my vet. I have to like do all of this before noon so I'm kind of screwed but my post office opens at 8, closes at noon today. My vet opens at 8, closes at noon and I have to go to the vet to get more cat food for my kitties because <clears throat> they're on a special prescription diet. And then I have to go to the gym. And right after the gym, even though I had sushi for dinner last night that you guys saw, I have to go um, out to lunch with my girl, Tori, and we are going to eat sushi again, which I can eat sushi, sushi all the time. So it doesn't matter, but I'm getting the teriyaki salmon lunch box that comes with like sushi and rice and soup and salad and it's, it's just good and it's actually filling too it's quite large and it's filling and it's not a bad price so <clears throat> actually I think after the P.O. box I'm going to go to Rite Aid because somebody told me that there's a sale on Milani Cosmetics at Rite Aid for buy one get one half off but I don't think any of the Rite Aids around me sell Milani, so I'm going to check because I found Milani at Walgreens yesterday, and that's the first time that I have ever found them at Walgreens, but I went to a different Walgreens. Like, we have like 30 Walgreens around us, and the two that I usually go to are out in like an uppity city that are like really nice, <clears throat> and the one that I went to yesterday was just okay, but it, you know, it was decent, whatever. So I'm going to go check that out. And I'm almost to my P.O. box, so I will chat with you guys in a little bit. So get this shit right. My post office is hours like <clears throat> Monday through Friday are from 8 in the morning until 11.30. And at 11.30, it's lunchtime, and they apparently don't come back until freaking 1.30. So they get like a two hour lunch span. I don't understand this. Okay. And they now change their hours. So I'm pissed. Their hours today are nine in the morning until 1130 in the morning. Like, are you fucking serious? So now I'm going to Rite Aid because I like try to map out where I'm going to like just make it so I'm not going out of my way. I'm so freaking mad right now. This post office is the most ridiculous post office in the whole fucking world. I honestly wish that I just went to the other post office that's over by the Rite Aid that I go to all the time. It's a little bit further from my house, but I mean, hey, it's not, it doesn't have freaking stupid ass retarded hours and they're like way nicer there and there's multiple people that work there that know what they're doing and you can do more at that post office than you can at the one that I chose and I only chose the one that I chose because it was $20 cheaper every six months and I was trying to save a buck or two but I'm almost willing to um, give up this cheap ass place and it takes like the post office I go to I know if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you guys know that I've had problems with that post office from day one. Like, I was, I applied online for a P.O. box, because that's what it said I had to do, and they assigned me a P.O. box, I didn't get a code, they told me I had to go in and get a code, and when I went in, the lady's like, what? And then she gives me the code, and the code doesn't work, or the box doesn't work, so then she's like, well, we're not going to give you P.O. Box 144 then. We're just going to give you 143 because that one works. And I'm like, okay, so online it still says that I have fucking P.O. Box 144 and I've been using 143 literally for the last year. So I'm like, really? Really? Are you serious right now? So I contacted their customer service like 500 times asking if they could change my... Um, record to say that I had P.O. Box 143 
because I knew this was going to happen. And what happened is like three weeks ago, I went to my P.O. box, I opened it up, and there's mail for a new guy that I've never seen in there before. I've seen mail for the old person that had the box that moved away, but there's mail for this new guy. And I'm like, seriously, what the fuck? And I told, I asked the postman, I was like, listen, I was like, here's the story, here's what happened. Um, if you can get me a code for 144 that works and I can open it, then I'll just use 144, but I have to change it so that everybody knows that I'm in 144 and some of my mail is still going to 143. So with that being said, he finally got me a code. It took him two days and they're slow as fuck there too. Don't, don't let anybody fool you. They're slow as fuck. And the guy is like, he's nice, but he's really like, He's not like nice nice, like he's kind of like rude nice, like he's only nice because he has to be, I guess you could say, but I do have 144 now and it is hard as shit to get that thing open and I'm not stupid, I know how to use a combination lock. And the other P.O. boxes at the other place, they just take a freaking key, so all you have to do is plug the key in and call it good. You know what? I wonder what time this Rite Aid opens on a Saturday. I'm going to be so pissed if I drove all the way here and they are not open. Today is not going to be my day. My husband's still sleeping and I still have to like make it to the gym and do a whole bunch of other shit. Okay, there's cars here, so let's hope that. Oh my god. See it? Can you see it back there? Rite Aid! Alright, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. On Instagram, I found out that LA Girl Color Pop Nail Polish with that Rite Aid. And I actually came here for this color, birthday cake, and the light right here, this purple one. They are gorgeous. <clears throat> look at all the other ones. Look at, look at these ones down here. I'm almost half tempted to get one of these pretty bright colors for summer, but I don't know. I don't really care for any of the pinks. I don't know. This one says bubble gum. I probably have a million shades of that. This one's kind of pretty dragon fruit. I don't know. I'll just get these two for now. They are two, four, five. And they have really good color payoff. God! <clears throat> so, I just went to the gym and it's packed. I don't usually go early in the mornings, and um, this is why, because that was freaking redonkulous. I had to wait for an elliptical, mind you there's like 15 ellipticals in my gym, um, while I was waiting for the elliptical I started working on my abs. and. You know what? I got one set of 10 in on my abs and then somebody got off an elliptical. So I hopped on like really super fast and I was like, I'm still out of breath. Because I literally just got done working out. Um, I hopped on the elliptical really fast and I ran for 20 minutes. Usually I do 40 and since I didn't go yesterday, I should have done like 60. But I did 20 because for some reason when my heart starts pumping with me being sick I just start coughing and coughing and I can't control it so <clears throat> I caught myself at 20 went to go back over to finish my set of abs somebody was on the damn machine went to work my arms somebody was on the machine so I worked a different on a different arm machine and was like well maybe when they're done I'll be good to go and that wasn't the case because by the time I got done working my arms, and I did 30 reps, by the way, which in between each rep I had a two minute interval. It's fucking green, people! Go! Oh my god. So, yeah, it's just, it was packed. And it makes me so mad when I can't get a good workout in. And I get frustrated. And it is what it is. Whatever. But anyway, my husband called me. Well, I was at Rite Aid, and he's like, hey, babe, can you stop at Hobby Lobby while you're out? So now I'm on my way to Hobby Lobby, and I have to hit the mall and spend my Victoria's Secret stuff because it's going to expire by, like, March 31st, and I have, like, $40 to spend, and 
I mean, you know, ten dollars is one thing, but when it's forty dollars, I can get a decent pair of yoga pants. And a lot of times, they have like the two for forty on yogas. So that's probably what I'm gonna buy because I've been in there like ten times and didn't like anything that my store had. I have the tiniest Victoria's Secret store in the whole wide world. The good one is like an hour away, but I would use forty dollars in gas to get there and back. So it's not really worth it to spend the forty bucks there so I gotta get some glitter paint from Hobby Lobby for my motorcycle hopefully it will be finished today and I can show off the grand finale next week and everybody's gonna freak out and be like oh my god you're so awesome wait I am awesome right no I'm just kidding holy shit people cannot make up their minds on where they're going I hope Hobby Lobby's open I've been having like a bad day with everything not being open when they say Anyway, I'm pulling in Hobby Lobby, so I will chat with you guys later, and there will be definitely, definitely a haul video for you, because I've got a lot of shit. Bye! Stuff I usually buy, and oh my god, $8 for this little can. This is posh pink, it looks totally different than that on my bike. And then Starry Night. And I'm done at Hobby Lobby, thank God, because I hate this place. This is another entrance in my mall. It's a different one than you guys saw in another one of my vlogs. I'm waiting for my girl to show up at this restaurant and I figured I'd show you guys I went to Bath and Body Works I went to Victoria's Secret I went to I don't even know where this is from oh Hobby Lobby um, I went to my vet I went to Rite Aid so I got all kinds of goodies even though I told you guys that I would not be shopping anymore so I lied so yeah I'm just waiting for her to pull in so that I can go stuff my face and spend some more moolah and I need to just stop shopping but anyway I will chat with you guys later I'll do a big collective haul um, with the stuff that I purchased yesterday that you guys got to see like kind of sorta in my vlog so, yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!